I want to share this car with you. This is a very special car. For those that are not interested in the S2000, now is a good time to tune out. But if you are interested in S2000s, and you are interested in pretty rare, low mileage, clean S2000s, you might want to stay tuned. I want to share this car with you and tell you a little bit about it. This is a Honda S2000 CR. This is a 2008 and it is in absolutely immaculate condition. In fact, it's better than immaculate condition. The paint is absolutely unbelievable. The decals have been blacked out and also the exhaust tips, but it is pretty much as factory as they come. You can see the shine on this thing. And what you don't really notice is this car has a clear bra installed. And it's a very nice install and a very high quality product. Kind of hard to see it. It's got such a shine. Look inside, you can see how nice it is in here. Look at this. You can see the difference on the seats and the interior on the CR model. See it's got suede on the door panels and is yellow stitched. And same on the seats, it's yellow stitched with the suede and the unique fabric to this car. The steering wheel is also yellow stitched as well as the shift knob. This is absolutely mint condition. You can also see on the dash it has the yellow markings on there. That's kind of unique to the CR. And also the yellow embroidery on the floor mats. That's a CR only floor mat. See, usually the driver's seat is the one that gets all the damage because obviously the driver is driving the car all the time and that's the seat that shows all the wear. You see this, it's perfect. The bolster is in great shape. The fabric is perfect. The stitching is clean. I mean, a real good example. This is something I don't see anymore. It's a shame these cars come in. Even the regular S2000 with so much seat damage from people rolling in and out of the bolsters. I mean even the the door jams, look at the paint and the plastic panel. It's not all scratched up. It's not got uh, scrape marks and foot marks all over it. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. I want to, uh, I want to show you the dash here, how it lights up. Notice the torque light. I'll turn the ignition off and on so you can see that but that's unique to the CR. See the steering wheel is perfect. The leather is like brand new. There's no damage. All the switch controls are clean. All the lettering is clean. There's no scratches, no dirt. Of course the car has never been smoked in. I don't think a smoker has even looked at the car. <laughs> this is a GPS mount. Actually clips in behind there. There's a company that makes them and it fits for the S2000, it follows that shape. You put it in, you snap it back together, it holds in there. It's pretty handy to put the GPS right there. Gives you plenty of options to see it. See this here? That is the designer of the S2000. I'm not going to pronounce his name, but he did sign the door. The door is replaceable, this is still available from the dealer. So that can be removed and a new door popped back on and it matches the center over here. It's kind of like a silver black, almost like a black silver uh, speckle.
look how immaculate this is under here. Looking around this car, you might see some little changes. Like this guy right here. Look at those guys. Uh, battery tie, wrinkled black valve cover. It's actually funny, the more I meet people talking about valve covers, it seems like the more people don't like the red wrinkle as much as they used to. So that's black wrinkle. And it has one of our very early master cylinder braces. This was the very, very early one. This was from about four years ago. But I mean, look at this. Look at the paint. I mean, right down to the wires. Yeah, I love to see this yellow markings. This is all some of the points that was put on at Honda when they would assemble these things. It was part of their quality control to know that it actually passed these different color markings which used to represent either different parts of the plant or individuals that worked on the car and everyone had the own color to know that that job was complete. Right down to the yellow on here the marks on the top hats. This thing is fantastic. It's hard to see in a video here. I'm going to try and show you. It has a clear bra on here. I forgot the name. You just see a slight difference there. This is one of the nicer clear bras. It's a pretty expensive install. A lot of people like this, it does resist chips. You can see it more on that angle right there. You can see the line. You can see how good it is. Even the clear bra has reflection. I mean, look at this. This is the regular paint. The S2000CR lettering is blacked out. That is the CR corner marker light. I mean, the tires were just replaced. The tires are brand new. They're the factory optional tire that came on the car. I will call it optional because that was the tire that came on it, which was the Potenza RE71R. Is a brand new, just factory size. Now the owner informed me the fenders were rolled. Now we see a lot of these fenders get rolled and people will actually wrinkle them and cause all kinds of damage. These were done properly. I'll try and give you an idea how well these are done. The lip is just nicely rolled on the inside and there's no dimple in around this edge. You see here, it's straight as an arrow. Just like the car. I mean, look at the, look at the door. Is that scan pass here? Look at the reflection. Look at this. That's a spoiler, look at that. So the owner of this car knows how to take care of black. And it shows. It's hard to keep black really looking good unless you know what you're doing. And look at that, look at the shine on that. Take it multiple angles so you can see exactly how nice this car is. This is the factory hard top. You see the reflection of the clouds, look at that. It's a reflection of clouds and different colors in there. I'm going to show you a few pictures of the underneath. We're actually doing an oil change on this car and just a general inspection. I'll let you into a secret. This car's for sale. The customer has had it since it was six months old and is now ready to part with it. So we're doing a general inspection and an oil change, making sure everything is perfect before it goes on the market. So if you are interested in this car, go ahead and contact me. I'm going to represent the car for him. But as you can see, the quality of this, I So here we are on the lift. I'm going to do some 
shot something underneath to show you how nice this thing is. This has been driven but it's obviously not had any bad weather. It's not like a, any salt or anything like that. I mean all the labels are still on everything. So all the factory paint is there. Even this crossbar usually gets damaged. You see all the, the Honda ink is still on the bolts here. See these bolts? Honda put a lot of ink on their stuff. You also see on the differential bolts, we got the red ink. So the draft shaft, look at all the stickers on it. this look at the transmission look at the bolts like all the telltale ink uh, cross member all the bolts he's got ink everywhere engine mount bolts this usually gets washed off you know get some heavy rain and salt and corrosion that usually come off we don't see that stay on there very good so the brakes it does have one of those quick release oil change drains it's kind of a good thing that usually kind of is a telltale that somebody is pretty anal with the oil changes engine mounts an oil filter on there. All the telltale ink. That's so awesome. Hey, look at that. You can tell it's not being cleaned and pressure washed. You know, because it's still kind of got, you know, some road dust and grime on there. But I mean, look at all the bolts. Look at this thing. This thing is amazing. Look at the diff bolts. It has had the factory exhaust tips wrinkle black. Obviously, see by the theme of this car. There's no like shiny parts on it. But that's about all I really see is the exhaust tips. Um, the catalytic converter is stock. We looked at that, but it doesn't have the heat shield on it. I often see these heat shields rattle, so it's probably been taken off. And the quick release oil drain. And this car did have wider wheels on it, so the fenders have been rolled. But again, if you look in here, they were done right. I mean, there's no wrinkles, there's no damage on that paint. We haven't got any kinks. I mean, the backs especially, we see people roll these fenders and ruin them. I mean, look at that. It's absolutely perfect. Somebody really did a good job rolling the fenders. It looked like maybe only rolled half an inch or so. But again, it's done right. Here's the back fender. In a fender well look. It's just normal dirt, it's awesome. It just had new back tires. I think the front was new as well. You see it's still got the little dimples on the tread there. See this one too. I think they were just replaced. You can see the marks on the treads there. Let's see the fronts. Yeah, these two, you can see the little dimples on the tires. 
Yeah, tires are brand new. That's about right. The factory tires last eight, ten thousand miles. If you're not tracking it, but yeah, tires are brand new. One more walk around, I promise. This is it. This is the end of the video. I can't stop filming this car. I'm representing this car, so if you have any questions, you can email me direct or call us at the shop at 727-344-1800. If you got any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. I know, obviously, you know, we know these cars very well. We know the cars inside and out. We'd be happy to build this car and put a package together for you if you'd like to purchase the car. We'd do a Kraftwerk supercharger, of course, or custom turbo kit, custom exhaust, clutch master's clutch. Whatever you want to do, we'll build the car, make it ready to go. Again, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, and I answer comments as much as I can. I appreciate it, guys. Have a great day, and enjoy your car.